All right, let's get right into it. First, boot up Minecraft in the version that you're making your mod in and go into or make a new world. So make sure that when you're making your new world, it gives access to cheats. Make sure that it gives access to cheats and then just create your new world. Okay, so start off by creating whatever structure you want to make and I'm just gonna go ahead and create mine real fast. Aren't I a master of building? Regardless, once you have it settled, go into the chat bar and type in give at s structure block. And it should give you this block right here. So this is a block required to save your structure into a file. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into a corner of one of the structures. So you have to take a look at your structure to put it in a corner. I have to put it here because it'll show everything and then click this button down here until it says save and then when it's in here you want to go ahead to this bar here that says structure size and i'm gonna go ahead and change it into 32 32 32 so that we can get a good idea of what it looks like and then click this button that says detect so it should show you an outline of what it's trying to save and right now it's not looking the correct way and if it's doing the same thing where it's not uh, trying to save the actual structure and it's in a different direction you can go ahead and do the same thing that i'm doing by just changing it to a different corner like this and then doing the entire setup again so now from here what you're gonna have to do is that you have to adjust the sizes so that they save specifically only the structure so you can either do this in two ways you can estimate until you find the size or you can measure the way that the i mean you can measure the structure itself so the first slot here is for the x-axis the second is for the y and the third is for the z and make sure that your measurement measurement types are minecraft blocks they are minecraft blocks so for example my structure has one two three, four, five, six. It's six blocks long. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my structure size six for the Y, I mean. Now I'm just gonna quickly do an estimation. And this is what it's saving. That's pretty accurate almost, but of course it's not in the correct area. Anyways, if you like, end up having to move this thing but you don't want to do all the setup again you can hold control and then the middle mouse button on this and it'll save the nbt on it I mean that you can move it and it'll save the exact same thing so i'm just gonna adjust it so that it's saving my structure the way it's supposed to and it's in all the outlines so now we're gonna go into it and then this bar here that says structure name we're gonna type in what the name of the structure what we want it to be so i'll just call it smiley because that's literally what it is and once you have this decided you want to go down and yeah if you have any entities in your structure you have to have this on i don't so I'll keep it off and then click this button that says save it should say structure save this minecraft smiley all right, so now once you're done with saving your structure and you did everything that I said, you would want to save and quit to the title, go into the single player again, and then the world that you just made, you want to find the button down here on the bar that says edit. It might vary on what version you're using it, but there should always be a button that says edit down here and click it. And again, the screen can be varied on different versions, but it should always have open world folder. And that's exactly where we're going to click. We're going to click open world folder and it's going to open up the world folder. And now all we have to do is click into generated, into Minecraft, into structures, and then you should see the name of your structure dot NBT. Now, if you already haven't had MC creator open, you need MC creator open. So go into MC Creator and click this to create a new structure and call it whatever you want. And now what you have to do is you have to drag and drop that NBT file into your MC Creator, this little bar right here. And it should say move and just release it. And if it doesn't show up immediately, you can go into the drop down menu here and select it. 
Now you simply have to do all the settings here to whatever you want it to be. I already have everything here. Spawn world types, this is where it can spawn in, everything like that. And then click save mod element and you've created a structure in MC Creator.